afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching from. Welcome back to Ivy Skin Bio channel. Thank you all for keep coming back and watching my videos. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the likes or the subscription. I am humbled. Thank you. So today I want to share with you four different face bar soaps you can make from Melt and Pour. Yes. And the Melt and Pour soap I'm using is the Goat Milk uh, by Melt and Pour soap. So this is like the best soap you can use for your face. But as we, as we progress into the video, you're going to see other ingredients that you can incorporate into this melt and pour soap that is so beneficial for your skin and will do wonders for your skin. Natural and organic. Yeah, we're going sort of organic promising today. <laughs> we're going to twitch it up a little bit. So yes, without much ado, I'm going to highlight some of the ingredients and the benefits for the skin. So stick around and let's get straight to it. So one of the ingredients I use in this soap is um, coffee. Coffee, yes. So there are a few benefits. There are tons of benefits that coffee can give your skin, but this is just a few of them I want to mention. It's uh, It reduces inflammation for your joints. Coffee reduce inflammation for your joint and it's packed filled with antioxidant which detoxes your body your skin uh-huh and it gently exfoliates your skin like dead skin on your body coffee exfoliates this and helps you reveal a brand new skin so you know dead skin tends to pile up on our body and makes your skin look dull and wrinkled and flaky when you don't exfoliate, even any cream you use cannot penetrate properly into your skin. So when you exfoliate, then your skin looks better in appearance and every product you apply to your skin works immediately because it penetrates easily. And it reduces cellulite, you know, <laughs> what cellulite is. Let me leave that. It brightens your skin. That's what you know what the exfoliation does as well. So when it exfoliates your skin, it reveals a brighter, brand new skin surface. So coffee brightens your skin. It reduces puffiness, like when you wake up and your eyes are puffy, your skin is puffy and all that. And dark circle around the eye, it reduces that as well. Another ingredient I used in the soap is uh, lemon juice, fresh squeezed lemon juice. So lemon juice help with blackheads as a result of residue from acne. When your acne is gone and dead and it leaves this black, especially when your acne is popped. Yeah, it scars your skin and it leaves a residue of a black head. So lemon helps to reduce this then uh it help reduces the pores on the skin you know how you get this uh, oils and sweat coming out from your face that's from your pores if your pores are too enlarged it releases uh, excessive sebum from your skin and makes your skin oily and in essence it clogs your pores blocks it and then builds up again and causes more acne so it reduces the large pores it removes dark spots and it's best with oily skin and it brightens the skin naturally as well i used again is a aloe vera aloe vera is you know it is the mother of all <laughs> when i say antioxidant and you know mother of all plants so it suits the skin it keeps the skin hydrated it nourishes the skin it helps regenerate new skin tissues and it helps heal sunburns, scars, and help replenishes the skin and help with the moisture in your skin. It help reduces skin inflammation from, <clears throat> say you have acne or itchiness on your skin, scratches like uh, psoriasis, eczema, and all that. Aloe vera helps with the, uh, you know, when the skin is inflaming, you're itching. So aloe vera reduces the skin inflammation and helps with less itching and visually like stops the itching from the skin and it helps the skin recovers rapidly like it has very good vitamin c not much but some percentage of vitamin c in it yes that's good too and 
And I love Vera Treat's uh, early signs of aging because when your moisture, the moisture in your skin is boosted, it reduces wrinkles. So early signs of aging, aloe vera helps reduces that, treats your wrinkle. And um, yeah, so goat milk. Goat milk, ah, this is just a very, like a godsend product that you can use, digest, you can eat, edible, apply on your skin as well. So it helps moisturizes your skin. You know, it helps with moisturizing and helps combat uh, aging, which is like wrinkled as well, because moisture, no moisture, wrinkle, aging. Moisture, no wrinkle, younger looking skin. So it combats problematic skin like psoriasis, eczema, rashes, acne. Godney helps with that. And uh, it's perfect for dry skin. So, you know, people that have dry skin and sensitive skin, Goat milk does wonders for their skin and helps their skin balances the moisture and the pH, and uh, basically does so much. I cannot begin to list all of them because I'm, excuse me, I'm excuse me, <laughs> I'm trying to make this video as short as possible. Okay, without saying much, uh, this is just the some ingredients I'm just listing, not all of them, as we'll get to find out pretty soon. So let's just get straight, uh, straight into it and start making our soaps. Let's go. We're back. So I hope you guys enjoyed that and we've learned something today, right? So I have always uh, emphasized on the fact that when you use a soap, you don't just... No, you, it, it's a ritual. It's a ritual, a skin ritual. You love your skin, you will spend more time doing this, especially the face. How you use your face soap? You moisture, put some moisture water on your face, you apply the soap and wet your face, massaging the both. The most important thing is don't just rinse it off immediately, no. You massage the soap with your wet hands, your wet skin for 60 seconds at least. At least if you can do more, fine. 60 seconds. Then you leave it on your face for some time. Do your baiting or do your chores or something. And when you come back, you wash it off. You will see a huge difference in your face. In the skin of your face that day. The next day, two days subsequently, I'm telling you, it's a consistent, continuous thing. Just try this 60 seconds washing your face with the soap. So, yeah, here's my walk-in space. About to make my Kojic Whitening Face Soap. So, in my jug here, I have my goat milk melt and pour soap. There they are, goat milk melt and pour soap. This is my silicone mold, which I have sprayed with to rub in alcohol to sanitize it, keep it away from bacteria. And I have here oatmeal oatmeals are good for skin reaction just about half a teaspoon or you say a teaspoon and half a teaspoon of coffee coffee that's the brown stuff in there in here is my own sugar white sugar we need a life on for glycolic exfoliating here is my tea tree oil and I have my snow white powder here and in this, I have my Koji powder. And here is my Beaut Danal lotion for face cleansing. Okay, we're using it for face cleansing. That's what it's for. So that's the only liquid that's going to be in this melted pour soap. And I'll put all the measurements in the description box. So let's get right to it. So I have melted my goat milk soap. It's melted. I melted this in the microwave for just about 30 seconds. And uh, my Kojic powder and my Snow White powder are in here. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this uh, Demal lotion and I'm going to put some quantity inside here. 
I'm going to put say about half a teaspoon by my eyes I know my measurements I'm going to put my sugar all the measurements are gonna be in the description box okay put my sugar remember this is a 50 grams face soap so we don't need much and uh, I won't put my tea tree oil now because it's essential oil and I don't it, it's uh, not it will damage the components in a hot temperature so here I put my cereal and coffee okay then I pour some of my soap in here to mix and incorporate them mix 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 so let's pour our soap into our container just one after the other So we're gonna leave this to air dry, set about three to four hours. And we're back again to make a herbal face soap. These are ingredients. First, a faithful goat milk melting pour soap in this jar. Fresh aloe vera, moringa powder, cinnamon powder fresh squeezed lemon juice a tea tree oil apple cider vinegar and in this cup i have turmeric powder coconut milk powder neem powder yep so let's get straight to it my soap is fully melted all my powders are in here uh I forgot to mention honey honey yes so I already put the honey in there and I'm going to put my lemon juice it's my lemon juice my aloe vera I have cleaned it open it and blend it and I'm putting it inside good put some melted soap in there to mix properly and incorporate that so let's mix this all mixed inside and I just have a little bit of perfume this is a bell soap remember so you will need it to smell good just few drops yeah that's it so we do it the same way bit by bit And we'll leave that to set for some time. Three hours to four hours. And next we want to make a moisturizing toning face soap. Goat milk melt and pour soap in my jar. Honey. Rose oil. Few drops of lemon juice beetroot juice this is the beetroot and this is the juice i have here already i store mine in the fridge because i drink some as well and any concentrate you can use any concentrate doesn't have to be this particular one you can use any of this and just in case you want to have fragrance totally optional so let's get straight to it 
rice soap is totally melted. And I'm gonna pour a bit in here for mixing purposes. All right, my five days bleach concentrate, few drops. Few drops, that's all I need. Honey, few drops. It's just a bar of soap, so we don't need much. Lemon juice, few drops. Rose oil. This can also serve as uh, fragrance as well. It smells so good. Few drops. Then my beetroot juice. I measure that. Say about five mils. Five mils of this measurement there five mils in here mix this thoroughly doesn't the color look beautiful and we pour the same way we've done all the others cold already all right so we just let it set for three to four hours and we'll be back to show you how the results turn out yes and now I want to make my extra white and then melt and pour face bar soap ingredients white now oil Five days action bleach concentrate, tower snow white, red food coloring, rose oil, honey for moisturizer, and a bit of fragrance to make it smell lovely. Why not? So my melted goat soup is here. In here I have all my ingredients. Everything I just listed are in here. I'm going to take some of my melted goat soap, pour it in there for mixing purposes, and we're good to go. And we start pouring. I really want to make the soap like a marble soap, you know, the colors all marbled in between. Yeah, that's how I want it to turn out. So, see what I'm doing? I want the colors to be marbled in the soap. There. And corners. Corners. Just like that. And it's done. So we're going to let all our soap set for three to four hours. And I'll be back to show you the big reveal. Stay tuned. Soap. You can use the herbal soap, especially for problematic skin, like people with pimples, acne, uh, sunburns, and uh, patches on your skin, uneven skin. This herbal soap is great for you. And for people with sensitive skin, that moisturizing soap is best for you. You can use any of them, but you know, just know what's best for you. That's why I made four different soap for oily skin, for uh, problematic uh, acne skin, for sensitive skin, and for dry skin. So you know what's best for you. You know your skin type. So what I'll say is the next video I'll make, I'm going to discuss various skin type and what's best for your skin and what to do, how to do your facial routine. We'll discuss that more videos coming up more things we'll learn more things i'm so eager to share with you guys and thank you once again for tuning in to my channel keep those thumbs up coming in like my video share my video comment down below and please subscribe when you do subscribe click on the notification bell so that way you get notified anytime i upload new videos keep this coming coming 
Thank you so much. And I am so glad to share this with you. See you all in my next video. Bye-bye. Our soaps are all ready and all set. Don't they look beautiful? Anyways, they're still drying. They're not properly dried. I just had to remove them from the molds so they can air dry properly. And the waters can evaporate. This is the herbal face soap. It's still a bit slippery because it's not entirely dried. Yeah, that's the herbal face soap in all its glory. <laughs> Alright. Next is her extra whitening face bar. That's it. Extra whitening face bar. Beautiful. I love the soap and it smells so good. And the next one we have is a moisturizing face bar. This is what it turned out. You know, the one with the oatmeal and coffee. Yes, that's it. In all its beautiful form. And the next one we have was the first soap we made, which is the Koyik face bar. I had to put a little extra thing on top, which is just coffee granules to just give it a little bit of you know finishing touch <laughs> i'm a little extra sometimes so yes that's a kojic face bar don't they look gorgeous okay so i'm glad to share this with you guys and hope you can make yours and let me know how it goes thank you very much for watching